Mode Tutorial for Sharp Scientific Calculators for models EL501XBWH, EL501XBGR, EL510RNB, EL531XBWH, EL531XBGR, ELW535XBSL, EL506XBWH, and ELW516XBSL. In this video, we will go over what are modes, how to set modes on various calculators. For the EL501XBWH and XBGR, EL510RNB, the EL531XBWH and XBGR, the ELW535XBSL, the EL506XBWH, and the ELW516XBSL, we will also go over an overview of different modes, such as Normal, Statistics, Drill, Complex, Matrix, List, and Equation Mode. We will also go through additional resources for sharp scientific calculators. Modes are settings on your calculator that change how the calculator approaches a problem. You want to set the best mode for the problem you are solving. Not every mode is available on every calculator, and the process to access different modes can vary by calculator model. The focus of this tutorial will be about general tips for accessing modes on your calculator, along with an overview of what each mode is. Setting modes on sharp calculators. First, we will cover the EL501XBWH and XBGR, then the EL510RNB. Last, we will cover the EL531XBWH and XBGR, the ELW535XBSL, the EL506XBWH, and the ELW516XBSL. Modes on the EL501XBWH and XBGR are highlighted above specific keys. You can set a mode by pressing the second function and the button under the highlighted mode. For example, we can set statistics mode by pressing second function and on. To go back to the normal mode, press second function and on again. Modes on the EL510 RNB can be found in the modes menu. To view the modes menu, press second function and DRG. You can look through the modes options by using the left and right arrow keys. When you see the mode that you want, enter the number for that mode into your calculator. For example, to set statistics mode, press second function and DRG, then press 1. To set modes on the EL531XBWH and XBGR, the ELW535XBSL, the EL506XBWH, and the ELW516XBSL, press the mode button. If your calculator has a long list of available modes, you can use the arrow keys on your calculator to view the full menu. When you see the mode that you want, enter the number for that mode into your calculator. For example, to set statistics mode, press mode. You can see that the mode number for statistics is 1. Enter 1 in your calculator. You will then see a selection of submodes. Choose the submode that best fits the problem that you are solving. Now that you know how to select modes on your calculator, here's a brief overview of what the modes are. Normal mode, statistics mode, drill mode, complex mode, matrix mode, list mode, and equation mode. Not every mode will be available for every calculator. For each mode, we will list the calculators that have that mode available. Normal mode is the default mode for calculators. It will cover most calculations. If your calculator is giving you incorrect answers, chances are that it is not set to normal mode. Statistics mode is used for statistical calculations. Within statistics mode, the calculator may have submodes that can further tailor the calculator settings to the needs of the problem. The number of submodes varies by calculator model. Drill mode will ask the user math questions to further cement their ability to add, subtract, multiply, or divide. You are able to set the number of questions and the type of question that you get. Questions will be marked right, wrong, or skipped. At the end of the drill, you will receive a percentage of correct answers. Complex mode is used for calculations involving imaginary numbers. An imaginary number, represented by the letter I, is the square root of negative 1. Complex numbers are often a combination of real and imaginary numbers, phrased as A plus BI. Some calculators have the option to choose rectangular or polar coordinates for complex mode calculations. This allows the user to further tailor the calculator settings to the specific problem that they are solving. Matrix mode allows the user to enter and store up to four matrices, containing up to four rows and four columns each. With matrix mode, there are several different calculations that you can do, such as finding the determinant, transposing columns and rows, 
determining the identity of the matrix, returning the cumulative of the matrix, or transferring the matrix into list mode. List mode allows you to store up to four lists of up to 16 items. You can use list mode to do many calculations, such as mean, sum, mode, range, or create sublists. Equation mode can be used to solve different sets of equations, such as two variable, three variable, quadratic, and cubic. For additional resources, please check out our other Sharp videos. We also have product information and product manuals at www.sharpcalculators.com.